everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we have something totally different on the agenda. We won't be playing Sims. We will be changing what you see in front of you. I will be changing my face. No, I won't be changing my face. I changed my hair, but I will be changing the quality of this little box right here. Hence why the resolution at the moment. I was really trying to get my webcam to like fit the screen, but this is what happens. And that's not something we want. <laughs> Usually for videos like this, I use my fancy big DSLR camera, but not today because I wanted you to take in as much of this quality as possible because today, as you may have seen already, me slightly talk about it, we're going to be testing out this camera. <laughs> I obviously wanted to make this because I love unboxing things on camera, but also I just wanted to really see the difference between the webcam that I have at the moment, which is absolutely the cheapest thing I think I own at the moment in my setup. It's very old. I bought it on Amazon. I don't even remember what it was. It was like 25 euro. It's nothing major. But I just feel like we could be doing better at this point. Right, let's open it. I'm really excited for this actually because, you know, with the new year, it's always nice to kind of upgrade a little bit. So this is definitely going to be an upgrade for my videos and for your eyes as well, may I add. <laughs> I am very excited. This packaging is very kind of snazzy, but I really don't know how to take it out of this box. It's like wedged in there. What do I, what do I push this out? I'm very scared I'm going to break it. It, you know it's like not coming out <laughs> oh my god i mean it's very secure it's not coming out god i can't get the thing out of the box ow my nail <laughs> okay i managed to dismantle the box so it looks like this surely this can just pop out now <gasps> there we go i got it guys i got it i got it so this webcam shoots in 1080p at 30 frames per second or 720p at 60 frames per second. It has autofocus, customizable audio settings, and it also has a little mount. It's saying it's compact and portable. I mean, it is quite small, obviously, as, as the majority of the webcams are. And it says you plug it in and you play. So I presume that's going to be easy for me, easy to set up, easy for any beginner like myself. <laughs> I'm going to take off the little protective sleeve now and we are going to set it up. It's really pretty actually. You can also mount it onto a tripod. That's very handy too. Okay, so I have it set up now. It is on my monitor. So I think we should give it a go. I'm very nervous. Let me try and see whether I can change in the settings. Oh my God, it's coming up. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Oh my God, here we are. <gasps> Whoa, okay. <laughs> I look like a totally different person. I'm currently installing the Razer gaming software. What's it called? Razer Synapse 3. And that's meant to help me kind of figure out controls, I suppose, of this webcam. It's meant to help me kind of give me as much customization as possible because I feel like I need to tweak a couple of things to make this feel right. Okay, so I've played around with it for a little bit and my cat is going crazy. There is a couple of things that I still have to figure out, I feel. I'm, I was playing around with the settings for the longest time because I feel like I look very green or something. I'm not sure. The color, I feel, is a little bit off for me. I'm also gonna have to do a little bit of research on this when it comes to, like, the actual quality settings. I mean, I think it looks amazing. There's a lot more detail in the image and it does feel so smooth. Like, it actually feels like I'm recording a proper video, not just recording with a little potato. There is questionable things that maybe I just don't understand. Like, it feels very grainy. I don't know whether that's something that it, it just looks like that. Now, it's obviously going to look a lot better when the image, well, my face, is going to be smaller for, for a YouTube video. For instance, since if I, oh, hi there. <laughs> it's also a wider angle, which is great for, you know, videos like this, where I'm actually wanting to fill the whole space. As I said, I'm still gonna have to play around with the settings of this, but as you can see, there is a major difference. I have kind of added different settings. I have two separate ring lights and they do kind of make my face quite bright. And also the background behind me, as you can see, there's natural lighting coming in. So, you know, my whole setup is kind of questionable anyways with the lighting. I always have major issues with lighting, but as you can see, I just look clear and the light, I, I I guess the webcam isn't struggling with the light as much as my old one did, which is obviously a plus for me because if I'm struggling with the light, at least I want my webcam to know what it's doing. <laughs> There's a lot more detail captured as well. And you can see this very clearly through my eyelashes, actually. When you look up really close at my eyelashes, you can almost see individual ones. Whereas with the old webcam, they're almost kind of blending into each other. I'd like to hear your feedback though. I feel like it's important to hear your opinion on what you think I look like. One side note, I'm gonna say, I feel like the 
razor webcam makes me look skinnier. It just, I think it's the wide angle. It just kind of pulls out. So I guess it's a little bit more flattering. Not to say that that is something I was looking for in a camera, but when you see my face up close, I just feel like it makes me look slimmer. I don't know. Was that intended by razor? Who knows? But that is something weirdly I have noticed. I just look like I'm like skinnier. <laughs> I'm just gonna record and show you what it looks like. Hi, camera reception happening here. But you can see, so we've got the old webcam here and we've got the razor one right here. The two of them are working pretty much side by side. These are my little um, ring lights. So as you can see, there is such a wide angle on the razor one. And I guess the one major thing I'm mostly excited by is just the fact that it is the 1920 by 1080 resolution. So it does fit your whole kind of camera screen. I've just put myself here at the top. I am gonna crop this as we go along because I do want it to be a little bit smaller, but you can still see how wide this kind of looks. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it is going to be smaller. And as we're doing that, we're just gonna go briefly through the website just to show you what they're kind of claiming and whether I would say I agree with that. It has quite a few reviews, which I'm very glad by. And I did do a little bit of research beforehand. And I knew I kind of wanted to try the razor one, whether it was gonna be the one with the ring light, the kind of little light around it, which I don't think is fully necessary. Or else this one, this one turned out to be the one that I got. So I am very happy. This webcam is definitely more, obviously for streaming and gaming as the website suggests, and also the company, it is a gaming company. Whereas I feel like the webcam I've had right now up to this time was still a webcam that you could have used, you know, for your Zoom calls with your work pals and your meetings. Whereas this is definitely something that is going to keep up with you when you're playing quick gaming, like the Sims in my, in my case. <laughs> it is definitely focusing on me. Now I did have an issue with it auto focusing a while ago. Like it just, it takes a little bit of time for it to autofocus. And when I stood up and got back at it again, it, it did have a little bit of an issue autofocusing. So I don't know whether it's just a little bit slower, but you know, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I don't move around that much and I don't show anything to the camera really. So now this is something I just, I don't think this is a great quality of it. Customability, what? Customizable, customizability at your fingertips. <laughs> so I've downloaded the Razer Synapse 3 and I don't know, it doesn't give me anything else other than what I can already do in my settings. It literally just brought up a menu like this and showed me that I can do my brightness, contrast and saturation. And I mean, that is already something I can do in advanced settings in OBS. It's not something that I can't live without this customization. And that is number three on the box as the thing that it claims it has a perk of. And also then it shows you that you can get a ring light with it, which, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Thanks very much. The one thing I am gonna note about it, the Razer webcam doesn't actually move left to right on its axis. So it doesn't move horizontally. It only moves vertically up and down. It probably won't make any difference. That is just something I've noted. But overall guys, I do really like this camera. I think that the quality has definitely been upgraded. I feel just a lot more like clear and with you as if you're almost like coming through the screen with me. And I like that idea. We are definitely becoming closer and we are, you know, we're, we're, our friendship just got that much closer because you can see me in more detail and you can see all my blemishes on my face here and you can see a lot more of my room now actually look at this you know it's just, I just feel like it's wider I'm going to leave this webcam linked for you down below but if you have any feedback on it or if you have heard or watched any videos suggesting any settings or any tips with it please do let me know down in the comments because I would love to learn a little bit more about this I feel like we can make this work I feel like this is something that's going to be very exciting for us like even look at me there actually it just looks better and I look more alive. <laughs> I don't know whether I like it that it's in the center of my screen. It kind of makes me feel like it's interrogating me a little bit, but that comes with the quality too. I feel like now I'm a lot more exposed because you can see a lot more detail. <laughs> this video was just not very informative. I was freaking out, but I, in the end, the conclusion is, is that I am happy and that's all you need to know. But I do want to know what you think because this is kind of more for you guys. I wanted your eyes to be graced. I, I mean, not grace necessarily because now you're gonna see all my mistakes in 4k <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe if you are new here or if you are enjoying my videos as per usual please don't forget to let me know and yeah guys from here on oh my god i just punched my microphone from here on you are going to see this quality so be prepared be excited thanks so much for watching guys and i shall see you in the next video